In this video, we will explain about the architecture of YOLO V7. Here is the architecture of YOLO V7. In the backbone, computational blocks YOLO V7 using ELON and ELON. But ELON is only used on YOLO V7 E6E. In the next, YOLO V7 sends SPP to SPP CSP. YOLO V7 also employs an optimized path aggregation network by incorporating ELON. On the head, YOLO V7 integrates three scales based on the neck with addition wrap com. The backbone's architectural details are as follows. CBS is mainly composed of convolution, batch normalization, and silo activation function. CBS connects batch normalization layer directly to convolutional layer. The purpose of this is to integrate the mean and variance of batch normalization into the bias and weight of convolutional layer at the inference stage. YOLO V7, as previously stated, employs ELON in its computational blocks. Here are the details from ELON. Next, there is MPConf. The MPConf layer is mainly divided into max pool and CBS. Next, on the neck. First, we will explain about SPP-CSP. Here are the details from SPP-CSP. The SPP-CSP module adds the concat operation at the end base on the SPP module, which is fused with the feature map before the SPP module. It aims to enrich the feature information. The following are the details of the SPP. YOLO V7 also uses an optimized path aggregation network that incorporates a lot. Path aggregation network adds the down sample operation after up sample. Path aggregation network was chosen because of its ability to accurately preserve spatial information, which aids in the proper localization of pixels. Next, here are the details of the ELON on the neck. On the head, YOLO V7 integrates three scales based on the neck and allocates three anchor boxes under each scale. By using three scales, it increases accuracy when detecting three object sizes, small, medium, and large. In addition, also added rip con. WebConf is used to change the number of channels output from Mac. WebConf has a certain difference between training and inference. There is an additive output of the three branches during training, and the parameters of the branches are reparameterized to the main branch during deployment. That's the explanation of the YOLO V7 architecture. See you in the next video.